Hello, this is Elaine Sugar, award-winning children's program facilitator and overall supporter of children's dreams. Welcome to the Empower Teen Self-Esteem Podcast. We bring you ideas and resources that help teens shine and help ease parents' minds. Welcome to this episode of Empower Teen Self-Esteem. I am delighted to bring you one of our first teen guests. This young lady is amazing. So join me in welcoming Kamakshi Velamori. And I had to practice saying her name, but I think I got it. Her name's beautiful. She's beautiful. She is going to be talking to us about confidence and leadership. And you are going to see those behaviors displayed as she tells you about her journey to be CEO and founder of her own company. And she is going to tell you how that came about. So before we get into talking about her platform, Universal Vidya, we are going to learn more about her. So welcome, Kamakshi. Hello, everyone. I'm Kamakshi, like she introduced me. Thanks for that great introduction. I am very honored to be part of the show. I'm excited about everything that's going to be happening with throughout the show. And basically, just to give a small introduction, um, I'm a current student. So I'm a student at NCCU, known as North Carolina Central University, doing a major in English general with concentration in English education. And with that, I am the UNC ASG delegate for NCCU. UNC ASG means UNC Association of Student Governments, and I'm also part of SGA from my college, NCCU, as the freshman class secretary. So throughout this um, whole session, um, I will be talking about leadership and how all my roles within SGA, my college, and my journey with Universal Vidya show up my confidence and leadership qualities and how you guys could also get there just like me. Fantastic. What an introduction. And obviously you are someone who gets involved. Um, We can tell that from all of the information you just shared regarding your involvement with the student body at your college. So that's fantastic. Now, there are not many people who are CEOs and founders of their own company at age 18. So tell us how you got this idea and then tell us what exactly is it? Oh, that's two great questions to start the discussion about Universal Vidya. Firstly, when I, I think when I start something, I start it if I know for a fact I can give my 100% in it or if I'm passionate about it. And I'm an aspiring lawyer and an educator come uh, this nonprofit entrepreneur. So it's more than company, it's like a non-educational nonprofit. So I'm very passionate about education because of both reasons, me having some um, understanding the flaws of education system we are doing great with the education system but i know there's flaws so i was frustrated noticing all these flaws and wanted to be a change which is why i founded an educational nonprofit profit throughout my experiences that i experienced and that is why i'm passionate about education be it being an educational lawyer educator and being the founder of an educational nonprofit so I am a multi-carrier on, uh, female working woman, but at the same time, I got my um, goal straight when it comes to my passion for education. Wonderful. And I know you mentioned there are absolutely wonderful aspects of the education system, but there are some things that we know we need to do better. What are some of those things that you noticed that um, caused concern and led you to create the uh, the nonprofit? So um, to go back to the first question that I never got to answer, what is Universal Vidya? Oh, I'm Universal- sorry. Go ahead. Help me out there. <laughs> so my answer for that question 
part of the question is that I started not Universal Video at, because of the frustration and my experience of shared community. So I was like, we need to start something. It needs to start somewhere. So I, I was like, I could be the first one to start it and form a group. And then I had the idea. Once I have the idea, I have like a rundown of next few years planned in my head. So I did everything. I spoke with a friend who was initially going to be like my main board members. But now she's in the team, but really not in the board member team. But yeah, end point, we did great things with the Universal Vidya. Everything I do has an actual meaning when it comes to Universal Vidya. The word Universal Vidya has a meaning too. We didn't just come up random name. Universal Vidya actually means the di the division of it, universal meaning worldwide, while Vidya in Sanskrit means providing correct knowledge in any field of science and anything and everything. So my goal was to provide knowledge, true knowledge that is necessary for middle school, high school, and college students that is not provided in college or any education institution, but it's supposed to be taught for us to be successful as an adult. Wonderful. So I've seen, and the reason I can tell why it all started is because I've seen many unsuccessful adults or stressed adults being it like very stressed about how to do taxes, how to know more to gauge retirement, everything and anything. So these are things that you really as an adult for every life, everyday life. So we are not really taught in education system, the life skills. When I mean life skills, I really mean it because career exploration, making choices, leadership, um, how did you taxes, financial literacy, mm -hmm. all of these are really important to live our current life. Not science, social studies, and so on, mm -hmm. classes. I respect the education system and I respect that they are important. Yes. But I personally feel like we have so much priority to core classes when core classes should be taught to those that are actually going into the field of science or the actual specific core classes mm -hmm. instead of putting the electives, which are actually the main courses for life skills, be it art or anything that you really love to do. And that could be useful in your future that you know you could do. But a lot of us, because we're, in, because education made it as core classes or the STEM and other classes are more important and everything else is just basic electives, you can choose. Right. So basically, the things that you really need are put into the choice, while the things you really need, have the choice to do are put as a manager during middle school and high school, which makes no sense to me hmm. because because of all this, a lot of students come to college and are confused about what they want to do when it comes to major and stuff like that. And I've seen many of my siblings and anyone and everyone in my friends that change their major from STEM to arts because arts is their actual passion. Yes. Hmm. And then because of all this, comes the other main flaw in education system, which is the stress, stress it causes students. Because yeah. I have seen many students stressed, including myself sometimes, because of the expectations the society have, and because it's known to society that STEM majors are the majors that are gonna earn more money and you have to be in that career. And because we have this um, stereotype, every parent is also forcing kids to do that, which causes student suicides, which is a really sensitive topic to talk about. Mm -hmm. But I've seen many of my friends within last month attempted suicide, stuff wow. like this depression and stress because of these stuff. And I, I do not blame education system solely on this, but education system has a majority reason for why teens have problems or students in general. I'm personally a mentor and student advocate for all the issues students go through. I've seen many people and adults say adults go through a lot of mm -hmm. Children, what do they go through? They don't do anything. They just mm. have to do education. And we have the responsibility of paying 
all the spills, yes. taking care of the family responsibility. We understand you have more responsibility, but everybody have equal problems, including kids. Yes. And I've seen kids have problems where kids have to de- bear with education, their hobbies, balancing all of social life, mm-hmm. just yes. making sure, because not everyone is going to be the A student in all classes. Right. So, and the emphasis on numbers is something the education system has done a lot, which I personally do dislike. And that is why I am very proud to say that I have a low GPA, very low GPA from high school and still got to college because of the extracurriculars I did, because of my nonprofit and because of all this. And this is the important thing I want to tell all the teens, middle school and high school students, because it is important to do what you're passionate about while having an average score and all these academics. It's not required for you to stress about numbers and stuff like this, which causes all this trauma, depression. And I've seen many people do that. The worst thing is I've seen a middle schooler attempt, I've heard, suicide. People would say, what would a middle schooler go through to get attempt suicide? But I've known and I've done research and statistics show that between the age of 10 to between the age of 23 or when the suicides happened or student suicides happened, because that's the age where students attempt suicide. That's the age we're studying. We're basically solely on education system. And education system is a flaw in this way because they're concentrating on numbers, concentrating on Four classes, concentrating on stuff that is just not supposed to be even cared. More importantly, they should care about extracurriculars. I personally feel like extracurriculars and elective courses and stuff you like to do are very important starting middle school because you really need them because that's what got me where I am today. And that's what got me into frustration start universal video wow because they need to know this wow so you just covered a, a lot of powerful points there that i think we should pause and and emphasize and maybe ask some follow-up questions so first i want to say the point that you made about the stress that are on young people today whether or not people are in reality that yes, before you become an adult, there are stresses. You're balancing what parents want you to do, requirements at school, what you want to be when you grow up, social media, all these different things. So reality is, is that young people are meeting with a lot of stress these days. And we don't need to ignore that. We need to acknowledge that and give them some support. So sadly, suicide rates have increased. And what I want to say to anyone who is watching this, um, I am going to leave uh, information in the uh, description of this uh, video that is going to give you an excellent resource for parents and teens, uh, Teen Suicide Prevention Society. That's one of my partners. That's a fantastic organization that provides support for prevention. Um, so please look out for that in the description and thank you for bringing up those points. I also just want to make sure that our listeners are getting your main premise. So you're saying right now, the education system is providing a lot of good education. However, some of the required courses, we should consider making those elective courses And the things that we are interested in, the things that we've decided, this is the field I want to go into as an adult, then allow there to be an education stream so that I can take courses that deal with that more so than all of these general courses that I would devote the majority of my time. So for instance, you mentioned an artist. So if I'm 15 and I already know that I love art And I feel like this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Why require me to spend six hours of my day studying 
all of these topics that I'm not really interested in pursuing after school and allow me only one hour to, to work on art a day when you could help me actually develop the thing that I've identified that's my passion. I definitely agree with that. And that's what I meant because I've like, really, I personally took a lot of electives, even though when I was in high school, we have these restrictions of taking core classes. I did not take um, AP classes or Uh honors classes. At least that was a less less, um, of a stress for me. Yes, And just the core classes itself is a stress for a lot of students. Imagine the amount of pressure They have to go through taking all these extra stuff. I have nothing against it, but I know for a fact, but a lot of people are required to take it because of the parents. I heard, I heard on the first day of classes when teachers ask, why are you in this class? Some people literally say, my dad signed me up. My parents signed me up. They want me to be in STEM. They want me to do only science, only this. And I personally am not good at STEM, but I don't have any hatred towards it. I love STEM. At the same time, I'm not good at it. And I don't think it should get that much emphasized compared to the other subjects. And just so we're all on the same page, and for those who may not know what STEM is, what is STEM? Science, education, mathematics, and technology okay yeah thank you so all these stuff are really just a lot of stress and Mm i have to go back to um the topic when and thanks for you pointing out putting that resource for suicide and definitely if you have if you need more help and resources you could always call your um the suicide prevention hotline we have a lot of hotlines where you can talk So just get help. It's always okay to get help. I have seen many people that said therapy or counseling is wrong. Well, it's nothing wrong to ask about and take help. I would rather live my life with help rather than take my life because of the stress of me not getting help. So that's a really important thing I wanted to share. Thank you. And then... I know that um, you have Universal Vidya and we understand now what it stands for, why you started it. What are some of the types of things that you've been able to do so far? So, so far we have done career exploration workshops. What I mean by that is we had guests come in every weekend on Sunday and people would come in live where we provide them with that information where they can join and they could get information on a specific topic. Like there was a guest that talks about marketing. Another guest comes talk about personal branding. Another guest talk about um, business, entrepreneurship, everything in any career development stuff. Because people need to decide. I have decided what I wanted to do when I was in middle school because I feel like that's really important we start early. I've heard many people said it's never too late to start. Mm-hmm. I believe it's never too early to start. Exactly. The better if you start early, because if you have clarity on what you want to do, then when you're an adult, you don't have to change. Like when I, you don't have to change your major every few, mm-hmm. days, every few years. You don't have to go from complete um, STEM job to a technology job or any other job that you were more passionate about or business. Awesome. That is fantastic. And other than that, we're working on doing a scholarship project where we provide money to students that need it. We're an organization that provides and come up with programs and stuff that's going to help students around the world. And that's what I I meant when I said what the meaning of Universal Vidya. It's a worldwide knowledge providing e-learning platform. We have huge emphasis on providing this to everyone. And that is why we're also coming up with a chapters program and a club slash mini um, activity type of stuff in each school around the world so that they can, we can provide them the program and they can follow it 
by taking up the leadership. So this not only gives them the help, but also lets some students take leadership Wonderful. by following our program. So. <coughs> Excuse me. Fantastic. So tell everybody how they can get in touch with you and learn more. So there's a lot of ways to get in touch with me. I'm going to share some so you guys can see this. This is Universal Vithya's website. And we have all the information on this website of how you guys can help us, how you guys can involve. And if you scroll down, you can see all our social media and contact info along with going to the contact tab. And this is for Universal Vithya information. To contact nice. myself, you need to you can go to my website and read about myself and what I do and find my contact information. And there's all this information and links are provided through the description. And this link she has basically the website, social media and everything. So you guys can look into that. And just in case someone is only listening right now and not watching, what is the uh, website address for Universal Vidya? Universalvidya.org. So it's spelled as U N I V E R S A L V I D Y A dot O R G. That's the Universal Vidya website. My personal website is my first initial and last name K V E L A M U R I four dot wixsite dot com slash my slash site. And this will be provided again for those that are actually watching. Yes, I will include the links as well as the social media links in the description to the video. Those are beautiful websites. It's beautiful work that you've done. And I can definitely applaud this and say there are a lot of people around the world that can relate to exactly what you're talking about. Thank you for being a leader and actually stepping out and doing something about it and then expanding it so that it benefits people around the world. It's phenomenal. Um, is there anything coming up or anything else that you want to make sure that we, that you share or that we can do to support you? I highly encourage everyone to take up this leadership and the confidence if I weren't confident, I would have been here starting all these organizations or being part of all my organizations within my college and now my own nonprofit. So take up the leadership or join someone's leadership by taking a leadership role. So just doing something would build confidence and your leadership skills along with your resume. Because again, I can't emphasize how much that your resume and building your resume needs to be priority early on. Because once you graduate, they're going to ask for experience the day you want the job. And you would most likely concentrate on education rather than extracurriculars because we are told to do that. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you don't have experience. So the best way to do this when you're a college or high school student, join internships, join mm -hmm. clubs, do whatever you can. Networking is very important to use your resources, social media, and highly professional networking, LinkedIn, and everything and anything, because you have yes. the resources. If you want to be successful and do what you want to, the next step is starting mm -hmm. by going and researching. Fantastic. You are doing wonderful things, Kamakshi. I cannot thank you for coming and joining us today and enlightening our listeners. I want to um, assure everyone that they are going to have this information in the description because we want people to learn more. We want people to support you because it's fantastic what you are doing. So thank you again so much for being here. And to our listeners, I want to say thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Empower teen self-esteem. I cannot wait for you to join the next one. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Empower Teen Self-Esteem. Please follow Kids More Sugar on social media. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel to show that you support this content. 
And you can visit our website at kidsmoresugar.com to learn more about our free online kids program. Thank you.